I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence to meditate upon His Word. For our daily meditation today, let's turn to Philippians chapter 2, verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. The other day we were meditating on the beauty of obedience. Today also we will be looking on the same subject of obedience through the life of Christ our Saviour. The above scripture gives us the summary of the life of our Saviour who is an example for all of us to follow. Jesus Christ who is God Himself took the form of man so that we mankind may learn things through His life so that we may grow to be a perfect man in the sight of the Lord. If our Lord had not taken the human form, then we would have had many excuses to present before the Lord. The life of our Lord Jesus, that is before the whole mankind, teaches us many things and at the same time, the life of Jesus will condemn us before the judgment throne if we ignore the truth which the Lord has revealed through His life. Here the scripture first tells us that Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself. That means humility is an important part to be obedient to the will of God. That humility comes only when a person realizes the greatness of the Heavenly Father and our actual condition. As we who are in the presence of the Lord we need to realize who we are. Look at the attitude of Adam when sin had taken hold on him. Instead of having a humble and contrite heart, looking at the blessings which God had bestowed upon him, for which he was not at all worthy, his mind desired something more, which seemed to give him the authority and happiness apart from what God had given him. And then dissatisfaction crept into his heart as it was filled with the lust to acquire a better position than he has at present. He was not ready to humble himself as our Lord did. Our Lord humbled himself and took upon himself a lower position because he was obedient to the Almighty Father. Adam chose the path of disobedience and that led to his fall. The enemy instigated Adam to rebel against God. And now that same evil spirit works, works in the children of disobedience and makes them rebel against the will of God and enjoy sin which God hates. The life of man Christ Jesus is the perfect example of obedience. Jesus humbled himself and was obedient till death so that the divine will be fulfilled through his life. Jesus obeyed and fulfilled the law which God had given the chosen nation of Israel. They confessed before the Lord that they will obey all the commandments which God had given them when they had a glimpse of the glory of the Lord on Mount Sinai. But they turned out to be disobedient to the Lord as they chose to fulfill the desires of the fallen rebellious nature in them. More than fulfilling the will of the Heavenly Father who had chosen them, they were happy to do their own will which gave them happiness for a while. They ate the food of heaven, drank water which God provided them, but still they could not enter the promised land for which they had been delivered from Egypt. A blessed better life was waiting for them if they were obedient to the Lord. But look at the life of Jesus. Through his life, the Lord obeyed all the commandments of the law and none could ever find any fault in him. The more Christ Jesus was ob obedient to the Father, the more the Lord was scorned by the world. Look at the Savior who is hanging on the cross. Everyone left him and it seemed as if even heaven forsook him. But heaven was proud of the beloved Son as the divine plan of salvation was fulfilled through our Savior Jesus Christ. 
As Christ is the cornerstone of the church, we too need to have that same mind to be the part of the body of Christ. Let us not think that if we humble ourselves, then the Lord will raise our head before the world with all the blessings of heaven. Yes, we are seated in the heavenly places, but that does not mean a higher position in this world that is ruled by sin. Look at the saints who were called to be martyrs. They loved and obeyed the Lord till their last breath. They were happy to offer their life for the Lord and be with the Lord than to have a happy life in this world. Let us also have that same attitude in our spiritual life. Let us not desire to be blessed in this world, but let us desire that the glory of God be seen through our life. Let the world know who Lord Jesus is through our life. Let the world see the preciousness of salvation through our lives. Let us surrender ourselves daily in the mighty presence of the Lord so that the divine will of the Lord be fulfilled through our lives. May the Lord help us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time that you have given us and thank you for your precious word. Father, help us to be obedient to your perfect will. Lord, your will is the bless, blessed one for us. You love us. And you have a perfect will for our life. We just want your name to be glorified today as we step out to face the world. Help us to be surrendered for thy divine will. Lead us, Lord. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.